Father God, thank you for guiding us here again. We commit the servants into your hands and everything we're going to learn. Help us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It's now time for our icebreaker game. All you have to do is hear the minister's voice and guess who it is when you're ready. Father's Day is here. Father's Day is here. It is good to be a father. Hello, boys and girls. Guess what? Today is Father's Day. Let's rejoice and make our fathers proud. Father who it is, one interesting 
privilege that a man gets the opportunity to to become. Sometimes fatherhood, it's assumed about uh, father providing and protecting children, which is amazing. But then the wonderful thing about fatherhood is what you as a father begin to learn through observation and through questions from your children. It's it's a blessing that God gives us that responsibility to be fathers. But then again, what we get to also know is that we learn a lot from our sons and our daughters. And it's a privilege. We thank God for their lives. They bring the best out of us. They challenge us. And they make us research, reorganize our thinking and plans as fathers. And the best thing is we become better fathers because they help us to learn. It's a great thing to be a father of the time. It's a wonderful blessing. And the most one amazing thing is what we get to learn from our children. And it's a blessing. That's fatherhood. Hello, children. I hope you are all doing well. I would like to know what you are most thankful for and what is the one song you know all the words to. Hey kids, don't forget to go out and wish your dads a happy Father's Day today because they are worth it. Amen. Hello, children. How are you? I believe you are all doing good. Today is Father's Day and it's a very happy moment to say Happy Father's Day to Daddy. But I want to share a scripture from the Bible. And it is Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. It says, Children, obey your parents the way the Lord wants. This is the right thing to do. The command says, Honor your father and mother. This is the first command that has a promise with it. So children, if you honor your father and your mother, you will stay a very long, 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 long time. You will grow up to become big mother and father yourself. And you will be doing good things for your children too. So children, obey your parents, be a good, be good children, study hard, and become whom daddy will be proud of. Take care of yourself and enjoy the happy Father's Day. Bye-bye. I hope that icebreaker wasn't too hard or too easy for you. But without a further ado, Let's get into our lesson for today. Good morning, children. It's Father's Day today. And today's lesson is about the prodigal son from Luke 15, 11 to 32. You will see how God demonstrates his love to us, forgiving us, loving us, even when we've done something wrong. I will let you watch the video and see you later. of the Bible, the prodigal son. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ah, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. So Jesus told them this story. 
A man had two sons. The younger son told his father, Um, excuse me? I want my share of your estate now, before you die. Okay. So his father agreed and gave his son his inheritance. A woohoo! A few days later, this younger son packed all his belongings. See ya! And moved to a distant land. And there he wasted all his money in wild living. Huh? About the time his money ran out, a great famine swept over the land. Aw, oh, man! And he began to starve. Hey, you! He convinced a local farmer to hire him. Thank you! And the man sent him into his fields to feed the pigs. The young man became so hungry that even the food he was feeding the pigs looked good to him. But no one gave him anything. Finally, he said to himself, At home, even the servants have food enough to spare. And here I'm dying of hunger. I know. I will go home to my father and apologize and ask him to take me on as a servant. So he returned home to his father. And while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son. Sir! His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to the servants, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet, and kill the calf we have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast, for this son of mine was dead and now has returned to life. He was lost, but now he is found. So the party began. Right, yeah! Meanwhile, the older son was in the fields working. When he returned home, he heard music and dancing in the house. Huh? Hey, you! And he asked one of the servants what was going on. Your brother is back, he was told, and your father has killed the fattened calf. We are celebrating because of his safe return. Woohoo! All right! Party time! All right! Yahoo! The older brother was angry and wouldn't go in. His father came out and begged him. Oh, oh man! But he replied, All these years I've slaved for you and never once refused to do a single thing you told me to. And in all that time, you never gave me even one young goat for a feast with my friends. Yet when this son of yours comes back after wasting your money, you celebrate by giving him a great feast. His father said to him, Look, dear son, you have always stayed by me, and everything I have is yours. We had to celebrate this happy day, for your brother was dead and has come back to life. He was lost, but now he is found. Wow, children, it's good to have you back. I really enjoyed that story. I'm sure you did as well. You know what? Prodigal son is like any of us. Sometimes we do something bad and we go back to our father and ask for forgiveness and he forgives us because Jesus loves everyone and wants to forgive all the time. So children, you know, today we've learned that no matter what we've done, we should be able to come back to God and say, I'm sorry. Just like our earthly father as well, you know, as we celebrate Father's Day, I'm sure that you've done some things wrong sometimes and your dad maybe tells you off, but they still love you and they do certain things for you, they provide for you, they care for you because they're your father and it is their responsibility. So as we celebrate, let's appreciate our fathers and remember that just like the prodigal son, 
we can always come back to our Heavenly Father and ask for forgiveness. Anytime you feel somebody has done anything they shouldn't be forgiven, don't think that way. Everybody can be forgiven, no matter how bad, how, you know, they are, how evil you think they've done. Just like this prodigal son that went away, squandered all the money, you know, then came back to his senses. And his father even threw a party for him, you know. So we want you to know that God always wants us to come back to him, to ask for forgiveness. And he will always, always receive us back. So it's Father's Day today. As we celebrate, remember to give your dad a lovely hug, you know, appreciating them for all that they do for you. They love you and you need to tell them today that you truly appreciate and you love them. So to all you children, happy Father's Day. Thank you Lord for teaching us about forgiveness today. As we learn from your prayer to forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Holy Spirit, give us a forgiving heart and to not be led by our temptation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I take my rightful place in the spiritual, political, and social economic arenas, influencing us to the same. So help me God. Amen. Amen.